probably uh, because I was using it in the shower. So it's a, it's a problem. Um, but I got an adapter for this little microphone that I had. And so we're going to be using that for now. Um, it's really loud in this plane. Uh, we're on our way to uh, Park City, Utah. Uh, yeah, so that's my screen break. Looking forward to it. Just going with the family. Um, it's really loud in here, so I probably won't be there just walking. Uh, but there you have it. Going to Utah. I've met someone that makes me feel seasick. Oh, what a skill to have. Oh, what a skill to have so many skills that make her distinctive. No, oh, they're not mine to have. No, they're not mine. Whenever she looks, I read the nearest paper. No, I don't care about the soaps. No, I don't care about the soaps. So we're here in the Salt Lake City Airport. One of the hardest things about vlogging is pulling out your phone in public. It's absolutely a big challenge. Yeah, trying to do that. It's scary. You know, but I'm vlogging. It's so weird that people are just to like vlog while people are watching. So like as you're videoing. And I'm just staring at you, like, what the heck is that man doing? Well, I'm just vlogging. I'm walking through the airport with my ukulele. My mom wants to be my vlog. Skiing for the first time in 13 years. Picking it up pretty quick. So one of the sucky things about my microphone dying is I didn't realize it right away. So I lost a bunch of uh, a bunch of videos, so I lost a lot of time. Anyhow, we're walking down downtown Park City. It's a cute little town. It's pretty nice. This is my sister Jackie. We're at the store with only socks. And I got Shaggy. <laughs> also, they're playing the all city. This used to be my favorite. Bob Ross. My door open just to crack. Going up. halls of this condo hoping I don't get lost we'll see what happens it's loud in there uh, let's go this way I don't know what I'm doing I went skiing yesterday for like seven hours Next, I'll sunburn at my nose. So over the spring break and uh, you know just the trip to Utah, one of the things I really wanted to do is really just face loneliness head on and just um, really try to overcome it. So I actually got rid of all social media or Facebook and Instagram were the two big ones that just kind of suck away my life and um, just in themselves, I don't think they're a bad thing, but I think they really emphasize just like the the need and uh, the lack that was there, that feeling of not being fulfilled um, just that I had, it just really amplified that. And you just get to see what all your friends are doing all the time. And, you know, I think it, it just creates this ache that I can't satisfy. And so I got rid of those to try to come to grips with um, 
just the loneliness and all that. So that's the fight right now, just to uh, come to a place where I can be satisfied in myself and not dependent on other people because I really don't want to form like uh, codependent relationships or clingy friendships with other people. Um, but I really want to find a way to be satisfied in myself and not, not necessarily depend on other people for that fulfillment. So yeah, that's, that's the goal right now. And that's my wrestle as I walk around this very large building. It's like a labyrinth in here. I don't know where I'm going. Um, this all looks the same. Getting lost, wandering around in my PJs. Day two on the slopes, being from Missouri. The mountains are uh, seen out in every issue. I'm back in Liverpool it. and everything seems the same. But Whoop. I worked something out last night that changed this little boy's brain. A small piece of advice that took 22 years in the make. And I will break it for that you way. now. Please learn from my mistakes. Please learn from my mistakes. Nice Let's dance the joy division and celebrate the art. So here I am again, roaming the halls in my PJs. Man, I can't hold this still. So I've been around sick people like nonstop for the last month and I managed to not get it until now. Thanks, brands. Just kidding, I don't care. Let's go up. Yep, I'm exploring again. One of the things I'm finding is that it is very difficult to kind of face down loneliness head on. So I don't really trust myself to leave myself alone with myself. That's kind of confusing. Let me take a breather, I'm out of shape. I'm not out of shape, I'm just sick. I got rid of all social media, as I said before, and I just thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of just like face down loneliness head on and just really try to like deal with it and kind of with family and not really in solitude so I don't like isolate myself so I thought it would be a safe place to deal with it but I honestly don't feel like I made a whole lot of progress it's been been hard because I keep trying to find ways to distract my mind and you know I don't know I haven't really figured out how to come to grips with it but, I mean, we'll see. I guess this is a lifelong journey. So I've been working on music and doing a lot of reading, which have been, both been really good, but haven't really had enough time to just drop everything and just kind of wrestle with my mind, which may be good. I don't know. I don't know. Ronald Weasley socks. So many people. They don't 
know what I'm up to. A secret. I was trying to put together a vlog to get out while I'm on spring break, but computer kept crashing. Apparently my editing software is too much for my laptop, so I gotta wait till I get back home to do it on my desktop. So it's also been kind of tough because, uh, I don't know, all my friends are on spring break as well and busy and all that, so I've been like completely out of communication with most of them. I mean, besides a little bit here and there, but, you know, I also have a hard time just like receiving affection or affirmation. So, you know, what support I do get in my fight, you know, just with my own loneliness is very short lived. It doesn't really last. And so, I don't know, it's, I just <laughs> feel like I'm alone battling loneliness. Great, it's not true, but it's easy to feel like that all the time. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Well, I made it back home. Uh, I'm still sick, very tired, feel very stuffed up, and feel like I can't hear out of my right ear. I can, but it feels like I can't. I don't know. Hard to explain. Anyhow, um, I think that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.